Hi, I'd like to tell you about this game that you can play with your friends and this can be played online after you've learned the product's rule in calculus, which for lack of imagination, I'll just call it the product's rule game. And it plays like this. Each of you secretly create a function y that is the product of two functions in x. For example, you may choose y equals x sine x and then you take the derivative of it using the product rule. So that gets you y prime equals to one, that's the derivative of x times sine x plus x times cosine x, which is the derivative of sine x. I'll go back to that number one that we leave there in the expression. All right, so this is how it's played. You show your friend your y prime and your friend shows you her y prime. For example, you show your friend y prime equals one sine x plus x cosine x. And your friend shows you y prime equals 2 ln x plus 2x times 1 over x. You may notice that the x in 2x and the x in 1 over x could cancel, but I'll talk about that. So each of you trying to figure out what the other person's y function originally was, and the first one to figure it out wins. And then you repeat. That's it. That's the game. You could stop right here. Or you can go on and I'll continue telling some more about the game. All right, so let's say you play this game and your friend shows you y prime is equal to 2 ln x plus 2 x times 1 over x. And you're supposed to figure out what the y function was. So the first thing you do is you recognize that a factor in one function or one term has a derivative in the other. The factor of 2x in the second term has a derivative of 2 in the first term and the factor of ln x has the derivative of 1 over x in the other term. So you realize that it matches the formula for the product rule, where here you have a function and its derivative. And there you have a function and its derivative. So you know the answer has to be uv because the uv matches the y. So the answer has to be y equals to u, u is 2x, and v is ln x. All right, this game is particularly good if you learn calculus off of a book that is always transcendental, because that way you have more functions to play with. You have the powers and polynomial, you have exponential, logarithm, trig, inverse trig, you have hyperbolic trig if your class teaches it. You can make your own scoring rule, such as every time someone wins by answering first, that person gets 10 points. Um, if they got the answer wrong, that person may lose 10 points. If the asking person got the product rule wrong, then that person loses 20 points. Um, you can play in a group of more than two people and the person that answers wrong, um, someone else can steal for 10 points. And like I said, this can be done online with video conferencing and it can be video conferencing one-on-one -on -one or in a group. Now I'm getting to the part where that factor of one got left in your product rule and the two X times one over X got left in your friend's product rule. And that is you should set your own simplification rule. Okay, uh, you want to increase slowly as you get more experience playing this game. Having it way too hard at the beginning, just discouraging. Okay, so for example, at the beginning, you may say no simplification of any kind. Um, and then you can move on a little bit more. So for example, the next step, you may say, okay, if you have an X and it, it differentiates to one, you can drop that one. Or you can move in the next one is, um, if there's any numerical coefficient, you can combine two together. So if you have a two and a three times together, you can make it two times three equals six. Um, you can move on one more step and cancel between numerator and denominator. So in that case, for your friend's derivative, the axis would cancel and you just have a two. And then to make it very, very hard, totally allowed to simplify anything you want, etc. You can make rules as you go along. You can also make rules on what can be found in your function y, what two functions can be multiplied together. The example that we saw, both functions are just of x only. We're not talking about a function of a function of x. As you get more advanced, you can allow more things like functions of polynomial in x only. So it could be sine of 
2x minus pi. Or you can be more generalized function of any function. So you could have sine of ln of x. Uh, and you may want to limit to just one level of chain rule. And then when you get more advanced and you can say, hey, two levels of chain rule, three levels or any level of chain rule. The pedagogy of this is that it helps students master the product's rule. And once you get good at that, first of all, you will memorize all the basic formulas. And second of all, anyone who's good at the product rule will be good at the quotient rule and all the other differentiation rules in calculus. It's handy to prepare you for the integration techniques, both in Calc 1 and Calc 2. Uh, you'll be really good at all the different integration techniques in calculus too, especially integration by parts. As you will find out, integration by parts is just an aspect of the product rule. And it will be handy when it comes to differential equations, uh, both the kind that being taught in calculus and also the kind that being taught in a differential calc, uh, in a differential equations class. All right. So hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.